When you look back at history, hemp has had a huge impact as a plant on civilization. It's been revolutionary at times. George Washington grew hemp and wrote to his groundkeeper at Mount Vernon, make the most of the hemp seed and sow it everywhere. Betsy Ross made the first United States flag out of hemp. In 1941, Henry Ford built a car out of hemp, designed to run on plant-based fuel like hemp. Crazy, right? So what happened to hemp? Yeah, it was a trip, man. Just seeing this giant field of green, you know, blew our minds. We knew what we were looking for. And all of a sudden it's like corn, corn, corn. Oh, wow, yep, that's hemp. You could argue hemp was collateral damage in the whole reefer madness movement. Teetotalers and fear mongers made sure to scare the public with anti-marijuana propaganda. As a cousin of marijuana, hemp fell victim to guilt by association, even though it contains only trace amounts of THC. Hence, the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937, which severely restricted the cultivation of hemp. Hemp is in the same family as hops and other cannabis varieties. Um, however, it has no THC, and there's no reason that it should be a Schedule One drug. Hemp is amazing. It has strong fibers that can be used to make ultra-durable fabrics, like ropes, canvases, and clothing. It can even be used as a nutritional supplement to substitute for fish oil and reduce overfishing in the oceans. Hemp even cleans up the soil as it grows. It extracts contaminants like heavy metals while returning beneficial nitrogen through its eight-foot tap roots. We're really excited to be working with Colorado cultivars who are providing the hemp hearts for the hemper. Uh, they are equally committed to sustainability as New Belgium is. Two of the brewers came out for a tour and saw our plants, looked at our terpene profiles. We took them to our grain processing and just, they were so enthusiastic about the plant, what uh, was happening in Colorado and just the smell and the, the taste that these plants were putting off. They mentioned about wanting to make a beer and we were extremely excited about that. It produces a really tasty and full heart, which is the center of the seed, and that's what's being used in New Belgium's new beer. Generally, the first reaction that people have when they smell this beer is, maybe there's something illegal going on. We can't use hemp flour in our beer. So where we needed to make the workaround was how do we get that big, beautiful, bright hemp aroma in a different way? We used some pretty sophisticated techniques to then map the aromatic fingerprint of the hemp flower. We found a lot of natural ingredients that can simulate all those and reconstruct those to give you kind of the sum of all of its individual parts. Uh, you could also just describe it as dank. There's no CBD in it. There's no THC in it. You are completely legit drinking this beer. I think that New Belgium releasing their beer nationally is going to bring a ton of awareness. This is the start of something special. Lawmakers are trying to understand hemp, its background, the science behind it, and how they should um, regulate it going forward. You can donate to this really cool cause that we're working with, Hemp for Victory, and then you can buy our beer, the Hemper, because a dollar per barrel of Hemper sold is going to Hemp for Victory and supporting this movement and this cause.